IKEA is submitting plans for an Indianapolis store to open fall 2017 in Fishers, Indiana. So there you go. There was the announcement today. One of the world's most successful retailers making plans to build a new store in Hamilton County. IKEA hopes to break ground next year and open for business in 2017. Yeah, the plans call for a 296,000 square foot store on 35 acres with a parking lot for 1,000 cars. Now, IKEA is focusing on an empty field near I-69 and 116th Street. Construction will create 500 new jobs for the area with 250 more workers added when it's open. Final approval for the project is expected on Monday at a Fisher City Council meeting. Right now, though, the closest IKEA is in Westchester, Ohio, which is just north of Cincinnati. Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich traveled there tonight to show those who have never been to IKEA what to expect, both inside and outside of that massive store. The first impact travel for shoppers. Right now, going to IKEA is a day trip, two hours, 100 miles. You can tell this place is popular with Hoosiers by the plates in the parking lot. IKEA Westchester says 10% of their customers are from Indiana. Rachel and Paul Nay are big fans. I love to come here, and being that it's such a long drive, I don't get here enough. So news of IKEA coming to Fishers? We were excited. As a matter of fact, I typed in woohoo after I, <laughs> I saw it. I was like, yes. A bunk bed for our daughters. Jeff and Robin Alexander spent five hours here. You get lost in there. Oh, yeah. Like, I can see no. And every time they shop, they've had to strategize. Finding somebody to watch the kids, getting everything loaded, get everything planned out with what we want to purchase. It's quite a trip. <laughs> this is what you can expect to experience in Fishers. Two floors of furniture, decor, anything for the home. Shoppers really do need a map to navigate. The whole upstairs is all like showrooms, so you get to see everything laid out in nice rooms, and then you go downstairs, and it's warehouse. Locals near Cincy told us what to expect outside IKEA. A lot of shoppers, a lot of development. This plaza wasn't here before, and all of this has kind of grown up and gotten bigger. Aladdin's Eatery is in business because of IKEA. They draw in customers from several states. It's a lot of fun to have that kind of diverse business brought in just by one business around the area. Ohio's IKEA also brought in traffic. Just like the proposed Fishers location, it's right next to an interstate. But locals say road widening and planning cut down on gridlock. They did a good job here, and everything seems to flow appropriately. With one notable exception. Well, you don't come here on the weekends. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. The reason's simple. People like the place and keep coming back. Having it a lot closer, I know I'll have to go a little more often, so. Are you right. ready? To <laughs> I'm ready for it. Exactly. <laughs> Spend a little more money yes. that way. Also, taxes spent while shopping here in Ohio. All that tax revenue will soon be back home again in Indiana.